baseball, Einstein of the national pastime. Hey, I'm studying the thermal energy created when the ball hits the table. The ball doesn't go back to the height from which it was dropped because the collision creates thermal energy. You know, this would be a lot easier if you could just see the thermal energy. And it'd be a lot more fun if it happened in a real baseball game. Well, in 2011, Fox Sports used a thermal imaging camera during the World Series. In this image, you can see the warmer objects, like the player's bare arms, are whiter than the cooler objects, like the ball, which is almost black. Check out this crucial play in the top of the ninth inning. That's a foul ball. Now they're not saying foul ball. Out. Well, what was it? Did it hit the batter's toe and it's just a foul ball? Or was it a weak dribbler to third base for an out? Let's look at the thermal image of this play and then we can see what it was. Let's take another look and see if there's anything that lights up and right off the tip of the shoe. Right, right off the toes. That ball nicked him. But it's out number two. That's right. Did you see the ball and bat turn white from the thermal energy in the collision? Did you see the white spot on the batter's toe from the collision there? Well, let's look at the video one more time. Watch the ball turn white as it hits the bat. See the white spot on the batter's toe? It was just a foul, not an out. Since you probably don't have a thermal imaging camera, why don't you try these colliding steel spheres from Arbor Scientific? It smells like something's burning. That reminds me of Ted Williams. He was the greatest hitter in the history of baseball, and he claimed that when he fouled the ball back, he could smell burning wood. Well, after doing this experiment, I'm inclined to believe him. This is Dr. Baseball saying thanks for taking a swing at physics.